How was the scrimmage? How do you, how do you think the offense performed? Uh, I think we played pretty well. You know, we did some good things out there, but there's definitely things we can clean up and you know move forward and you know, fix this week. Coach so Saban said the rhythm wasn't maybe what he'd like to see. Is that just kind of first scrimmage? That happened every first scrimmage, maybe. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to get the kinks out, trying to trying to work through it, and you know, every day in practice, we're trying to get better and you know, get the offense exactly how we want it. Speaking of the kinks, how, how was it with Brian Dayball in his first scrimmage? By the way, how was it with Brian Dayball in his first scrimmage? I mean, it was good. You know, uh, Coach Dayball's out there every day with us. He's uh, he's he's pushing us. He's trying to make us better. You know, every day he's encouraging us. You know, whatever it takes. Is it different though when I mean? It's a game-like situation. He's on the sideline relaying plays in. I mean, did you guys, is that mainly which had to work out, is getting the plays in kind of different way that he does it, maybe opposed to other guys? Uh, not really. No, we've always done that. That's kind of we execute in practice. He's kind of on the side, and, you know, and steps in where he needs to. Uh, he couldn't really step in during the scrimmage except when we come to the side. But it's still the same communication getting out, same everything. How did Lester and Matt look on the side? Uh, they played very well. You know, they, they did, did some good things. You know, there's some things that we need to correct also. Do you have any personal goals heading into your senior season? I mean, I'm just trying to play the best of my ability. You know, that's that's all I'm trying to do. And uh, wherever we end up at the end, you know, that that'll just be bonus for me. I'm just trying to. I'm here to help my team and and uh, you know help them do the things that we need to take care of. Who fences more, you or uh, or Duran? Uh, right now, Duran. How much do you got you by? Uh, I think we did we did 500. I did it twice. I did it three times. So yeah. You kind of talked about how some of the young guys. Rat trap out there. They were just kind of um, didn't know what to do early on, especially in the scrimmage. Sometimes, what as a leader, what do you kind of do to help the, the young guys along with that kind of stuff? You know, you just try to lead by example. You, you know, you get after them when they're not doing right, and you know when they are, you you encourage them to keep keep moving forward, keep going on. <clears throat> and you know, they're just they're trying to figure it out. You know, it's it's a lot of information, a lot of things going on out there as a freshman. And uh, you know it's it's hard sometimes. You know you get kind of lost in all the, the hustle and bustle of it. So you know, just try to bring them along with you. Along that line, uh, Nick was very complimentary of, of Alex and uh, Jedrick and kind of how they've come along. Uh, what have you seen about their progress individually? Maybe maybe with that second group, or if they work with y'all? Uh, you know they're they're getting better every day. Their uh, the maturity level is growing every day. They're you know, trying to pick up the offense, trying to, you know, figure out their footwork and this, that, the other, along with everyone else on our offense line. You know, everybody has something to work on. So, you know, everybody's working on that every day to, to do better and be better for the team. What's it like to get down in your stance and look across and see a guy who's six foot seven? Talking about Rick one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he's a big human being. He's a, uh, he's a great player. He's, he's good for us. You know, he, he definitely gives us work. So, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's good to whenever you're playing against really good people, big people, you know, it, it helps you out every day today. Has it gotten better since last year? Has he gotten better, you think? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, all our defensive linemen are working really hard to get better. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it's an everyday, everyday grind that they're trying to, you know, get that starting role or, or produce for our team. How much is Dave all throwing at you uh, from a play standpoint? He said he was going to kind of install and that's kind of the new package on you know, almost every day it seems like he, he kind of indicated that. Um, what, what's that been like? Uh, you know, Coach Table, he's he's giving us our tools that we need to to have to you know be successful this season. So you know, every day we're just trying to learn the things he's throwing at us and and uh, figure out what, what's going on and how to execute the you know the techniques and execution. How's that different from what Lane did? You know, I mean, it's pretty similar. He, coaches are going to bring in new things, new. New ideas, you know, every day, even if it's the same OC for, say, if it's over four years, like they're they're going to bring in new things to help you get better. How much would you say is new? I mean, you know, because Brian kind of talked about mixing and matching, you know, it wasn't you'd be foolish to kind of add all new things to something that's been working in the past. So, what what would you say is new about the offense? Uh, you know, the offense is it hasn't really changed greatly. You know, it's it's definitely made some shifts, but. Um, you know, overall, it's, it's pretty the same, and you know, we're learning. Like I said, we're learning new things, uh, and trying to figure out how to execute them, and you know, just going forth from there. Is there some excitement after the first scrimmage? You just kind of start to see what the team might look like and how things will start to fall into place. Uh, yeah, it's you know, it's a good, good uh, bookmark for you to see mm -hmm. kind of where you're at, and <clears throat> and to you know, move forward from there. Try to get better. Figure out what the kinks are. Figure out, you know, how what matches work better with uh, which different combinations. So. Some of the uh, Josh and, and Najee have been kind of limited. It seems like the last few days, Nick even talked about hamstring injuries. 
when you see guys like that, young guys that are successful, but then you know have some injury injury issues, is there any kind of you have to keep them up? Is there is there kind of you have to kind of keep them motivated, or, or what's that like? Is it? Uh, I mean, that, they're your teammates. Like they're that's with anyone. It doesn't matter who it is, whether you're scout team or first string. It, it doesn't matter. You know, they're your teammates. You're here to to help them to you know bring along the whole entire team, not just yourself. So you know you have to you have to go to that person and you know help pick them up, help them you know keep moving forward. Because those when you're injured, that's a that's a tough road. Like I've been there before. It's it's hard. So you know you whenever you have your teammates, your brothers, your you know there with you to help you come along. It's it's a big impact. How Jalen play on Saturday? Oh, uh, you know Jalen did good. He uh, you know he executed very well. He you know, did his best that he could do at the time. You know he's he's got some things that he has to work on. I'm sure he knows. You know I can't really tell you exactly what those are, but um, you know he's he's working his strides to get better. How about the running backs too? I mean, especially with Najee and Josh out, were, did they still? Did, how was the ground game? I guess. Uh, I mean. We open up holes and they hit them. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from what little we see of practice, it looks like the quarterbacks generally all seem to get along. And on social media, they take pictures together. You get a sense that they're a pretty tight group. Yeah, they are. I mean, this whole team. This is you know, this is a very good team. I'm very proud to say that I'm a part of. You know, we're all kind of like this. We're um, you know, we're a tight knit group. Thanks, Buster. Thanks, Mr. Thanks. 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 Thanks.